Hi everyone and welcome to Bologna. Bologna is my city, the city where I live with my family. But for a tourist, it's the city of food, known as Bologna the Fat, for its culinary traditions. The city of music for UNESCO, the city with the oldest university in the world, and this beauty as one of the largest and most well-preserved medieval historical center in Italy, full of restaurants, shops and life. For me, Bologna is just the most beautiful city to live. But what is Bologna for a tourist? Because Bologna is not easy to understand at the first sight. For example, if you look at it along its streets, it seems all porticos and squares. If you go under it with a boat, it's full of water like Venice. And if you look at it from above, it's full of vegetation inside its courtyards. Well, if you want to discover Bologna, in this video I will show you what you cannot miss when you visit the city. Let's discover the main attractions of Bologna. Start your tour from the impressive Chu Towers. This will guide you in the city as they are visible from almost everywhere. The 98 meters of Asinelli Tower were used by Giovanni Battista Guglielmini to prove the rotation of Earth. Its neighboring twin is Garisenda Tower, 48 meters high, also mentioned in Dante's Inferno. Piazza Maggiore, the main square of Bologna, perfectly combines different historical periods. For instance, Palazzo da Cursio, seat of the municipal administration, houses inside its ancient walls, while inside Sala Borsa Multimedia Library, in Art Nouveau style, you'll find Roman archaeological excavations, visible from a modern glass floor. That's just amazing! And next to the square you can admire the Neptune Fountain, by Gian Bologna, 16th century, one of the main symbols of Bologna. During the Renaissance, the whole of Palazzo Re Enzo was used as a field for playing one of the first versions of modern football. St. Petronio, with its 132 meters long, 60 wide and an elevation of about 45 meters, is the fourth largest church in Italy and the largest brick Gothic church in the world. In 1530, Charles V elected the Basilica of St. Petronio as the seat in which to be crowned Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Inside the basilica there is the largest sundial in the world. Another symbolic place of Bologna is Piazza Santo Stefano. It's curious how the most elegant square of Bologna is not actually a square, but only an open space originating from Santo Stefano Road. It leads to the complex known as Seven Churches, or Holy Sepulchre, which wanted to recreate the sacred places of Jerusalem in miniature. Here you can find the oldest nativity scene in the world, dating back to 1291. 
Right next to Piazza Santo Stefano, there is Corte Isolani, one of the most impressive porticos of Bologna, with its oak beams. It's like a medieval shopping center, where you can find restaurants, bars, art galleries and much more. Do you know that Bologna's university is the oldest Western university? Its first prestigious seat was the Archie Gymnasium. Here you can visit the anatomical theater, where practical lessons of cadaver dissection took place in medieval times. Bologna is also famous for its almost 40 kilometers of porticos, the longest in the world. Often, at 2 o'clock in the night, returning home through these long porticos in Bologna, my soul exalted by those beautiful eyes that I had just seen, I used to stop, oppressed by happiness, to say to me, how beautiful. Bologna is not like Venice, but here canals are an unexpected surprise. They date back to the 12th century and can be visited underground too. A few minutes from the historical center, Bologna's hills are places of extraordinary beauty and can allow you a wonderful view of the city. I'm speaking not only about the sanctuary of Saint Luca, that you can easily reach on foot along the longest arcade of the city, but also about several parks. It's said that the portico leading to the sanctuary of Saint Luca is made up of 666 arches, which is the number of the devil. Bologna is synonymous for food and wine traditions. Mortadella, ragù alla bolognese, handmade pasta such as tortellini, lasagne and tagliatelle. These are only some of the foods that have made Bologna's gastronomy famous throughout the world. Bologna Hills wines are famous too, like the typical Pignoletto. So, now we can try to answer to the question why visit Bologna. Visit Bologna if you love to take long walks surrounded by medieval architecture and long porticos. If you like Italian food and verdant hilly nature. And consider also that due to its position between north and south, west and east of Italy, Bologna can be your main hub if you want to visit Italy and cities such as Venice, Florence, Milan and Rome. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. channel.